Uh, I'm Adam Lamb. Uh, I am CTO of Detectors Incorporated. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen really quickly. Um, hopefully this works. Right. Um, we are a small tech startup here in Southern California. Uh, we are dedicated to designing and manufacturing optical flame detectors. Uh, what is an optical flame detector, you might ask? Um, you can think of it as an, as an analogy. If a smoke detector might say smells smoke, an uh, optical flame detector, you could say sees fire. Uh, this is especially important in places where there are uh, potentially fires in the outdoors or in places with high ceilings, um, or in cases where even a very small fire could pose an extreme hazard to life or property, um, such as an oil refinery, a semiconductor fab, or uh, an Amazon warehouse, for example. Uh, due to the increased risk, uh, many insurance companies require these kinds of facilities to have additional security measures, um, and thus our company. Um, our detectors in particular uh, are able to see a one square foot uh, heptane pan fire up to 200 feet away and respond in as little as three seconds. Uh, previously, we had accomplished this using um, a spectroscopic method uh, that uses infrared and UV sensors. But with uh, the advent of technology, we're um, you know, pushing to incorporate uh, computer vision into our, into our products. Uh, we have a plan to, to do this. Um, sorry, the slides are out of order. Uh, infrared and UV sensors. Uh, we plan to use this um, using a combination of infrared spectroscopy, uh, as well as uh, video um, analysis using convolutional neural networks. Um, now we have a, a number of experiments planned uh, on how to do this and a couple of different methodologies to experiment with. Um, but we can cover those in the future or you know, after in the question section, or you can email me afterwards. Um, for now, what I can show you, uh, because our, I, I'm actually not finished producing those, those models yet, what I can show you is a camera only method uh, in a Pathfinder demonstration. Uh, this is going to be used to benchmark our future experiments against and also to test the current hardware. Um, in this demonstration, we'll show that the detector can not only see and detect fire, but also in some cases to distinguish the fuel source of the fire. Um, additionally, we'll also uh, test you know, other light sources such as flashlights for false alarm potential, uh, as well as uh, uh, you know, demonstrate you know what, what we our current known false alarm sources uh, might be. Uh, now it's important to to note that um, oh dear, this is problematic. It's important to note that um, during this demo that the device is not uh, or the model is not running on my desktop computer, uh, nor is it running on the cloud. It's actually running on uh, this uh, device here called a Google Coral Evaluation Board. And uh, on board that is a small microchip called the uh, Tensor Processing Unit, um, which is uh, a small chip developed by Google, manufactured by NXP, that uh, is able to handle you know, these computationally heavy uh, processes such as convolutional neural networks. Um, at relatively low power usage and uh, is you know, affordable enough that we can put it into day-to-day -day products. Um, where you know, previously you'd have to have used a GPU for this kind of application. Uh, and now at last, the, uh, the demo itself. You can see that it correctly identifies the heptane fire. And then here again, it correctly identifies the uh, heptane fire, or sorry, the first one is an ethanol fire. The second one is an heptane fire. Uh, it's quite vigorous and is more or less amorphous. Um, but uh, on the left, you can see in a second um, that the ethanol fire, while it's, it's being quite static, uh, when it's perturbed, it uh, has a very difficult time detecting that. Uh, here we can demonstrate that uh, we can shine a, a bright light directly at the device. Um, so it's not detecting just bright yellow lights. We can also move the spotlight around or try to move it in a way that emulates uh, a fire. Uh, and again, no false alarm here. 
likewise, any you know random yellow object such as this bottle will not cause a false alarm. However, weirdly enough, my hand does. Or, and I suspect that this is uh, explained by the fact that I, I probably contaminated the, the training data with images of my hand whilst lighting the fires that are used in the training data. Uh, so there's my thumbs up and you know a, a fire being detected. Uh, I used a couple of different papers um, to research the methods for their future proposed experiments. Um, that concludes my presentation. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me now or you can email me uh, in the future. Uh, if there's any investment opportunities you see on the horizon, go ahead and let me know as well.